Yes, boys, good to see you. So I'm gonna try and keep this as concise and as quick as possible, but there are two very important lessons you need to learn about life. And the first one is that you can rewrite history. So a lot of the time when we go through pain, when we go through trauma, or when we've had past trauma that has really affected us emotionally, we oftentimes start to build a self-image that revolves around that same sadness, pain, low moment, trauma, whatever it is, right? We attach our ego to it. We attach our self-worth to it, our self-image to it. And we actually start to think that that's kind of who you are. You are that person that was traumatized at this point. You are that person that girlfriend cheated on you. You are that person that your parents died. You went through this, you went through that. And we start to attach odds to that thing. And we get addicted to the feeling of that pain, of that same familiar sadness and trauma and negativity, that we actually start to attract more of it. Because it's the only thing that really makes us feel like we're being true to ourselves. Now, obviously, that's not true. You can be whoever you want to be. And honestly, a lot of the time, the key to a successful and happy and fulfilled life is to just detach yourself from it and almost view life from a bird's eye view, from an outside perspective, and almost just enjoy every experience with a unique level of gratitude because each experience is unique and don't attach yourself image or identity to these things. Don't look at it and think, oh, that's who I am. You can be whoever you want to be. You can be whatever you want to be. And you can always mold and change yourself and evolve consistently every single day throughout life. You can always do that, okay? Now, with all of that being said, I want you to go and rewrite history today. I want you to think about something that previously would make you feel negative emotions, or I want you to go into a place that you have had some trauma in, or go into the place where your girlfriend broke up with you, whatever it may be, and go and rewrite history. Go back to these places where you used to cry, or you used to feel negative emotions, or you used to hate yourself back in the day, and go back now and look at it and smile, feel positive emotions, feel grateful for it, and rewrite that history, rewrite that genetic emotional code that you have within your nervous system that responds to that thing with a certain emotion and rewrite it and change it into a positive instead because the moment that you do that is the moment that you start to take control over your own reality again. And once again, just to reiterate, because it's very important, I want you to understand how adamant I am when I say you control your own reality, you create your own reality. The life I live today, everything that I've got, I created it myself, obviously with the universe's blessing, of course, so I'm grateful for the universe as well, but I put that into action. I manifested, I attracted that life, fucking cobweb on my finger, for myself, right? You are always in control. The life that you have now is a direct reflection of your past thoughts, actions, and beliefs. So you need to change them. You don't have to attach yourself to these emotional states or to these past events. Your girlfriend, but I've noticed it in my current relationship. I have the most perfect relationship on the planet. I love my current girlfriend so much. I've never experienced this love before in my entire life, right? I'm absolutely in love with this girl. And even with that being said, I still find past trauma and past beliefs and past emotional states that come in from my old relationship where, you know, basically I got treated a little bit of shit. Let's just say that. And I'm now acting out those same traumas and emotions and past experiences into my current relationship. And obviously it's not a good thing to do. So what I need to do, and the reason I'm making this, because maybe you can relate to it and take it into your own personal life, is detach your identity, detach your emotional states, detach your self-worth from those events and rewrite history, change it. Change how you look at it. Don't look at it now and look at it as a traumatized negative thing. Change it and turn it into a positive instead. Look at it with gratitude. I look at my past relationship now where I've been fucked over. And I look at it with gratitude, I look at it with positivity, and I look at myself as a new man. I don't look at myself as the guy that was traumatized by that relationship or whatever, right? I look at myself as a new man because now I can go into this new state of being in this new present moment in a different way than how I was if I was still the same guy. So you are always in control of that. Please keep that in mind. Now, you may be asking, how do I do that though? How do I detach from past traumas and past failures and past mistakes and just past experiences and these low moments how do i detach myself from them how do i look at life from an outside perspective from a bird's eye view how do i actually do that luke well if you go down to the comments or in the bio get some sun rays while we're talking there is a link that will take you to my school of life because i always thought you know what the modern education system's absolute shambles it's a complete scam and it's all bullshit and they're teaching you about lgbt and trannies and the covid vaccine i thought let me create my own school 
that teaches young men about the realities of this world. And it also teaches them how to win this game of life. Because you don't want to just play the game and understand it. You also want to win. You want the best. You want to fulfill your potential. So if you want to learn how to detach yourself from these emotional events or from anything, if you want to learn how to master dating, you want to learn how to make money, you want to learn how to network with people, and you want a brotherhood around you where you could be stranded in fucking India, you could be stranded in New Delhi, India, with no way of getting home, you call one of my boys inside of this school, inside of this brotherhood, and we'll sort you out, right? That is the beauty of network, it's the beauty of brotherhood. You have contacts inside of this school, when as soon as you join, you have contacts all over the world, all over the globe. I'm in Manchester myself, I've got guys in New Zealand, Australia, India, fucking Iraq. I have guys everywhere to look after you. So when you're inside of this school, when you're a student of mine, you are protected and you are looked after. You have power in this world. So go and join the school down below if that is something that you're interested in. Now, the second point. So we just spoke about rewriting history, changing your emotional code, looking at things from a different lens, right? Now let's talk about how when you go through this life, you must understand that... <laughs> Nothing has to be what it is. You can always change things. You can always mold things. Momentum is a very powerful thing. And I think with that being said, don't think that, okay, because my life is shit right now or because I've made mistakes or because the past failures that I've been through, you know, oh, I can't change it. That's who I am now. It's destined. It's cemented in stone and I can never do anything about it. Oh, I relapsed on pornography or, you know, I didn't go to the gym when I said I was going to go to the gym. All these little things that you beat yourself up about and get into like a little overthinking rut about. Oh, uh, you know, uh, maybe you made a mistake and you cheated on your girlfriend. Maybe your girlfriend cheated on you. Maybe your dog just died. Whatever it is, understand life is in a constant perpetual state of evolution and changing vibration. It's always changing, bro. All the time. So even if today you're having a shit day, tomorrow it might be completely better. It might be a, the best day of your life tomorrow. You might wake up and won 24 million in the lottery. Or your crypto meme coin might have pumped to the fucking moon. You might have 600 million in the bank, right? So life is constantly changing. Sorry, bro, just spat on you then, my bad. Just uh, spitting too many facts, man. Life is constantly changing. And with that being said, just because right now you've done something that you didn't want to do, or you've made a mistake, or you've done something negative, or you're having a low day, or things are feeling shit, understand momentum is absolutely key. And right now you can drop down and do 10 push-ups. I say this to guys who have relapsed on porn all the time. They're like, what do I do? I don't, want to, I don't want to get into this negative cycle again. And I say, bro, just get down and do 10 push-ups. It's nothing. It's a small win, but it's the small wins that start to rebuild positive momentum. And before you know it, you're flowing again and you're in a good state of mind again. So that's just another little bonus tip I want to give you guys. Just really keep that in mind when you go through life is nothing is ever as bad as it seems. It's always more worse in your imagination. Be present in the moment. Enjoy every experience that you go through with a smile on your face, no matter how bleak and how bad it seems. And just understand that everything in this world is temporary. The sunshine right now that I'm enjoying on my skin that I've been hoping for and waiting for for so long because I live in the UK and it's a fucking cold, miserable shithole, that is going to go. So I'm making the fucking most of it. I'm enjoying it. And you know what? When the rain comes again, I'll enjoy the rain as well. That is not just about the weather. Don't let that go over your head. All right? School is down below. If you want to learn more, take care of yourselves. Get out in nature today. Go get some sunshine. Go and network with your brothers. Go and train. Go and spa. Get a nice tan. Get as attractive and as healthy and as strong and as rich as possible and create the life that you want to live. All right, take care. Boom.